Live now to the Director of Policy and Public Affairs at the Road Haulage Association, Rod McKenzie. Rod, uh, welcome to you. Were you surprised to see these scenes in Dover this morning? Not one bit, Ian. Uh, I think it's one thing for the government to say we've got a plan, and it is this, to the media. It's quite another thing for that to translate into what's happening on the ground. And as you've seen from your reports, the border is still effectively shut. Uh, the testing is effectively not happening. Uh, and therefore, the tension, the anger, the frustration and the hunger uh, that, that we've seen from uh, those drivers, pity the poor drivers, uh, just increases. Well, quite. I mean, have the authorities done enough to uh, support the drivers? I mean, driver welfare on the ground doesn't appear to be great. It's been shocking. Uh, it follows the pattern of driver welfare in Britain generally, but it has been an extreme example. And probably the most helpful thing has been a, a group of Sikh uh, restaurateurs cooking curries for them. But, you know, the, the, the local authority has done very little. Uh, the toilet facilities are shocking, both uh, around Dover and at Manston, which is, again, uh, we haven't mentioned it, uh, again, a very poor situation going on in Manston with all these trucks parked up, inadequate toilet facilities, wash facilities uh, and food facilities, very, very poor. Uh, and, you know, the government has got to match up to some of the public rhetoric it gives in terms of action now. Rod, do you think this is going to deter some continental European truckers from doing the UK run again? I, d I don't think it's, there's any doubt. And, you know, part of the problem we've got today is the government saying, hey, the borders are open. Uh, and in fact, they're not. And so we've got even more trucks flying towards Kent. Don't go to Kent today. It's got to be the message. And, and certainly, uh, if I were an Eastern European driver looking at what's going on and with Brexit just around the corner, red tape, border checks, all that, uh, it's, it's bound to put some of them off, just as it has put some uh, UK lorry drivers off from doing this trip anyway, because it's quite problematic because of migrant activity and all the rest of it. Rod, what did you make of the comments from some of the truckers that Mark White spoke to just then? They think this is all about Brexit and Macron flexing his muscles. We heard that yesterday on this programme from the Chief Executive of Logistics UK. Well, I don't think there's any doubt about that, really. You know, we're just days where the talks are not going well, or they are going well, depending on who you believe. We're just days away from the end of the transition period. Uh, and it's a sort of handy reminder, you could argue, from the French to say, look what happens if there's disruption at the border. You know, you Brits don't get what you want and all the rest of it. Uh, so I think it is politics. Uh, it's, in, you know, lorry drivers are not vectors of disease. They have about a 2 or 3 percent sickness rate, one of the lowest occupations uh, for catching COVID. These guys are not a threat to public health. Uh, and we need to kind of get over that, get real, uh, and try and get them away as quickly as possible. I'm very sorry to say that most of them won't be home for Christmas now that we've been talking to, because these queues are going to take days to, to, to clear. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty grim situation. Do you have any optimism that the testing can be rolled out quickly? I mean, the Army, uh, when they've been involved in testing, have done a pretty good job in this country. Oh, the Army are, are fantastic, and I've, I've only got praise for their efforts. But at the end of the day, you, you know, they are hamstrung by uh, other things like the availability of kits and testing and who's going to do the, uh, the paperwork and all the rest of it. So uh, I, d I just think it's a mammoth task for whoever's doing it. Even if it was the greatest logistical genius in the world, they would struggle to shift this probably eight to 10,000 uh, lorries uh, in, in short order and get all the tests done and all the rest of it. So we are in a very, very uh, difficult situation. All right, Rod, good to talk to you this morning. Thanks very much for joining me.